Well, we all know Derby County are in need of a striker. With recent links to Macaulay Woodrow, Derby County are also in the hunt for another striker. This one is coming from Premier League Bournemouth and his name is Daniel Jebison. At just 21 years old, he's had a bit of time in senior football but not yet found his home in a first team environment. Is it time for him to come and join Derby County and for him to make that step up? But before we get into talking all about Daniel Jebison, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below or in this top corner to stay tuned for all of my latest Derby County and EFL League One and Championship videos that are heading your way across the course of this season. Now, here is where the link has come from. Uh, a HITC uh, report, I've linked it over on my Twitter. So if you haven't seen it and you want to go and read the whole thing, make sure you go over there, follow me over there and give it a read. Uh, the 21-year-old and his representatives are liaising with Bournemouth to assess the options of which there are many. HITC can confirm that Norwich, West Brom, Stoke, Hull, Derby, Portsmouth and Stoke have all made approaches to try and land Jebison. Leeds also remain keen, but they have been working on bringing in a wide player as a matter of urgency. Now, obviously, there's a lot of quality teams in that list that are attempting to sign Jebison, and that is where I think Derby may come unstuck. Obviously, you look at those teams who are probably going to have more competitive or maybe more comfortable seasons where he can actually sort of get involved in the team rather than for us where we're battling uh, that relegation zone and that's going to be the interesting uh, question across the course of a potential loan spell here. Now, if we do look a little bit further on into Daniel Jebison, he's recently signed for Bournemouth. He's 21 years of age, born on 11-7-2003. Now, if we look a little bit deeper into his career, he's played at four clubs over the course of his short career so far. Uh, obviously, came through at Sheffield United, I believe. Uh, spent time at Chorley, Burton and Bournemouth. Uh, over the course of those clubs, he's made 66 appearances with 3,231 minutes, 18 goals scored, two assists, six yellows and one red card. Now, he never quite got the opportunity at Sheffield United that some will say he probably deserved and um, it's one of those for me where obviously as of yet hasn't played for Bournemouth and they're looking to send him out on loan to aid his development. It's certainly going to be an interesting one to see how uh, this obviously develops over the course of the end of the transfer window and if we do go back to Paul Warren's presses a few weeks ago where he discusses having uh, a player that's sort of gone under the radar that no one knows about who would really, really improve us. And I do think that that could be Daniel Jebison. Now, I know a lot of people look at 18 goals in 66 appearances and think, oh, he's not that good of a striker, blah de blah But you've got to think that a lot of his games have been off the bench. Um, his probably best spell of games was probably at Burton, where I think he made 20 appearances. I think he scored seven or eight goals as well. And I think... I think it just shows that if you give him the opportunity to play, he does know where the onion bag is. And it's really going to be interesting to see how that obviously does progress. And obviously, this loan spell is going to be an interesting one. Now, here we go. Here's the uh, goals and appearances. 35 for Sheffield United with three goals and one assist. 23 for Burton Albion with nine goals. Uh, six games, six goals, one assist for Sheffield under 18s. And two games for Chorley. Now, it is an interesting one, this one. And... He is obviously mainly a centre forward and that's the important part. It doesn't have all the data available on transfer market because it doesn't collect everything from sort of like the lower leagues and stuff like that. Um, if you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned for all of my latest Derby County and EFL Championship and League One videos that are going to be heading your way. If you have not already checked out my League One review video, which was out on Monday, make sure you go and check that out, as well as my Championship review video, which was out yesterday. Make sure you go and check that out. Make sure you give them a watch, give them a like, and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section of those videos. Let me know your thoughts on the sign of Jebison down below here, and I'll catch you in the next part of this video. Obviously, he has played out on that left wing once, according to Transfer Market, and in a Sheffield United system when he's played, he probably has been sort of rotating in that front two of going wide, coming in. So 
Um, he is capable um, and it is going to be interesting to see obviously how this one obviously does develop because there's a lot of big clubs interested in this deal and I think if we look at obviously our depth I personally think he'd probably come in on level pegging with Jerry Yates now uh, some of you may disagree some of you may agree but in my opinion I think Yates is probably better based on experience and um, reputation whereas that Jebison is probably um, the type of player who can probably go above and beyond uh, Yates if given the opportunity and the playing time to show what he's capable of. Now, if we do move on to the four-two-three-one type formation, um, that is also something that we're going to end up using at points this season. Now, uh, some people will want it in a four-three-three with a sitter and two eights, but I think it's just the same no matter how you have it really. So. Um, obviously, again, Jebison comes in on that uh, same level as Yates. I do think that the likes of Woodrow, I do think Jebison would all massively improve that striking department. I think with Woodrow, I think he offers something different to Yates um, in a sense of link-up play and being more of like a hold-up number nine. Whereas I think with Jebison, is he really going to be that target man? Is he really going to be that hold-up striker that Paul Warren's after? Who knows? We might end up with both. Obviously, there is still a long time to go in this window. I believe there's probably about two weeks left uh, as the time you're watching this video. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what does happen uh, with this one because it could be a really, really interesting signing for me. Now, what type of deal would it be? Now, if we do go back to the report which I showed, it does look as if whatever deal is available for Daniel Jebison is going to be a loan deal. Now, the interesting thing about that is, uh, will it be a season-long loan? Will it be six months? What, what will the situation be? Now, obviously, if you look at many loan spells in the past, a lot of clubs will have, they'll send them out on season-long loans and then go, uh, will reassess after six months. Let's look at where we're at in six months' time and then it's on the duty of the parent club and the player to sort of make a decision on what they want to do. Obviously, um, everybody has to... I, th I think two of three parties have to agree for them to go back. Um, so it is going to be interesting to see how this one obviously develops. I do think uh, Jebison would certainly add that extra quality to the forward line. Do I think he's going to come in and be an instant hit? Maybe not, and I, and obviously, if you look at the other quality teams that are coming after him, like the likes of Hall, like the likes of Stoke, uh, Norwich, and things like that, um, it certainly makes it difficult to see him actually picking Derby in the end. However, I do think that this would be a wonderful deal if it is a deal that Paul Warren can get over the line uh, for Derby County this season, because you look at especially that forward line, and we are very light in sort of championship quality now is Jebison a proven championship commodity not exactly but do I think he's better than James Collins and Connor Washington in my opinion I'd probably say yes I'd probably say there's a lot of strikers that are um, so it's going to be interesting to see how this one does develop now obviously Daniel Jebison has multiple options for loan spells this summer Obviously, you can let me know down in the comments where you think he's going to end up. I'd obviously love him to come to Derby, as I think a lot of you lot would. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to see where he does end up. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned for all my latest Derby County and EFL championship videos that are going to head your way across the course of the upcoming season. Be sure to go and find me on TikTok, pictured here, and Twitter, pictured here. These are the places where I'll keep you all up to date with all my upcoming videos and my thoughts and feelings around the Formula One and football weekend.